Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine, and today we're going to talk about improving our vocabulary when we are intermediate or advanced students. This is a lesson that comes after the previous lesson of learning new vocabulary that you can find somewhere there. And this is when you go beyond. If you're an intermediate or an advanced student and you want to go forward, improve your English, then a problem that you usually have, as I have seen with my students and myself, is the word choice. And let me put you an example. Let's say you write a sentence or you say something like, I like patience, people. And I'll tell you that there's a problem with the sentence. The problem is with the word patience. And the problem is that you didn't choose the word, the right word for it. You uh, already speak English, but uh, even though you understand the meaning of the root word, patience, there is a problem with the sentence construction. At this level, you should be able to identify clearly the parts of a speech. And when in a sentence, you need a noun, an adjective, an adverb, a verb, etc. If you don't know that, then you should definitely study it. I will put a link to a video about that that I didn't make, but I think that can be useful for you. And with that in mind, you have to choose the right word. And in this sentence, for example, what you need is an adjective. So you think the word patience is correct. So what you do is, well, you have two options. The first is, of course, your best friend. Remember your best friend? I love that video. I don't know why people don't watch it. Well, you have two options. Or you can use two things, two tools. The first is your dictionary. So you go to your dictionary. In this case, we're going to go to my favorite dictionary, word reference. And you look for the word. The dictionary is going to tell you the kind of word this word is. In this case, patience. Patience is a noun. And what we needed is an adjective. You will read the meaning. You will know the meaning. You already know the meaning. So that's not what we are focusing on. That's not what we're focusing on right now. We're focusing on the kind of word. And then you will have some related words like the adjective patient. So this is the word that you actually needed to use. Patient people. And voila. But you're not going to stop there. You are going to go to your notebook and make a chart or whatever works for you. The thing is that you have to write it down or put it online somewhere that you, so you can look at it later and review it and not forget it. So you can go to notebook or to a sheet, for example, here, and you can make columns of the kinds of words, the main, the main ones, and write a word. You don't need to write the definition because you already know it, but you need to write you need to word you need to write the words from the same family so you write patience patient and maybe impatient or patiently etc so there you will have your own dictionary now uh, of word families but there is a beautiful page that i like to use and I'm gonna leave you the link. The link is a little weird, but I promise it's not a virus. It's the link to this web page that kind of got lost on the World Wide Web. And this is the Word Family Framework. In this page, you look for a word and the, a chart similar to this appears. Only that the chart that appears there is not, um, is not organized into kinds of words, but into levels of English. So you will see if we look for the word patience, for example, in what level you should be able to uh, know that word and to say that word in A level, basic, B level, intermediate, or in the C level, advanced. 
and it's going to give you the different words from the same family for you to know. I love, I love, love, love this tool. So there you have it. Those two options that you can use to improve your vocabulary and word choice. And then you need to use the words that you are learning, the words from the family. And I suppose that if you're trying to improve your English, you write essays or journals or something you're doing to improve it. So, or you're speaking a lot. So when you're speaking, so you try to use these words that you are learning. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I hope to see you soon.